money messages shuffling for money messages for you beautiful so so nocturnal something is happening at night it has something to do with your dreams oh my gosh the eight of swords it has something to do with your dreams your thoughts your feelings your memory your emotions um someone is like breaking into someone's mind or this could be something in real life here money messages here for you someone may be trying to ex extract information from you i'm also getting extracting um extracting nectar from flowers or petals you may be doing that something about juice i'm getting beetle juice also something is happening at night time um, I'm also feeling like something is turning around in your favor, whether you know it or not. You've got the golden touch, the Midas touch here. You can, you have a lot of wealth potential around you. You also have um, spires around you too, because of your natural gifts and abilities. You are like an oracle here. Something about moon, or your name could be Moonbeam. Moonbeam could be the name of a horse. People could be betting on you in some way, shape, or form here. The tower card. Um, someone may be betting on you to lose or bet. But if they, I feel like if they do, they are going to lose here. Yeah. In some way here. Let's see what's going on. Financial reading. Money and career. Something is being exposed, but someone is trying to hold it up as if it is not crumbling. All right. Okay. Someone may be pretending something here too in your money message for today. Someone is pretending. I hear highlights. This could be, um, I hear Juniper. Something happening in your family. Someone may have been taken for granted or there's, yeah, oh my God, the Hermit card. And the Magician fell to the floor. Um, someone that took you for granted is feeling remorseful they're feeling regretful is they're feeling so sorry um i'm wondering if it is because they're facing karma or they're yeah they're facing their own charges right now someone is going through a rough time that puts you through a rough time and it's not good yeah they're not feeling good about it at all they've been exposed the ace of swords card the truth about them keeps getting um exposed and put up there so this person they're gonna give up a position they're gonna um put, put throw in the flag this person you're gonna see someone come out and maybe say something like a whistleblower energy because all right say this person something is going down but they've been on the evil side let's just say let's see the sun card i knew i was about to say let's just say you've won just let's just say it's over let's just say it's a new day for you right just someone wow okay the sun card because i feel it is also because of you and your childlike spirit you keep talking about something and not giving up and exposing this person and telling the truth so someone that was trying to work against you, they were being lied to and manipulated to work against you all along. Something about their brain, like they were being programmed or told lies. Alright, so I hear the sheep is the shepherd. And so this person was um, like kept away somewhere, away from the world. Let's say this was a magician or someone that they were using to, to, to um, affect you negatively. But they were telling this person lies. But because you kept speaking the truth, yes, because you kept um, being, uh, being childlike in your spirit, being guided by true light, divine energy, this person saw a true light in you. And I'm getting like martial arts, I'm getting monks, I'm getting spiritualism, right? That's what they were. They had you work underneath someone's trance because they were telling lies on you. But the, the, you kept speaking out the truth and this person is deciding to not work against you anymore. To break free. Queen of Cups. You are, you are actually setting someone free because you are telling someone the truth also about themselves. So even this, 
this energy of this person that was against you, even they themselves are free up now. Okay? They are set free. It's like they're going to give you thanks. They're going to visit you. This is a spirit that like they were in hermit mode. They're about to shine in the sky. And they're, they're going to like this person is becoming a butterfly. And they're going to thank you for helping them to transition. To let go off of this world and to move into their higher self. Someone that's been working against you is, you, is going to come and thank you for helping them to see the light. To know the truth. To see the truth. You are a revelation to someone that has been kept down and held back for so long. And this person, hmm, when they realize that, uh, ooh, ooh, I heard the G word, the big G. Like I told you, it was about someone's mental state that they were holding down and lying to this person so much. But this person is powerful and they can set something off to... Because they need this person's skills or gifts to, to try to suppress you, you know? So that's what I'm saying. When this person, like, anyways, I'm not going to say too much. Yo, this, the Eight of Cups, you are a leader. You are leading the way. You are leading the way for someone that is highly spiritually ranked. You are showing someone that is, you would say, is highly ranked spiritually. The way they light the truth because you're going with your heart and you're doing something. Mm -mm. This is magnificent, you know. You're also a dreamer. You're a dreamer, vivid dreams. You see the future, you see the past, and you're right here. You're the alpha, the omega, and whatever, the in between. You are everything, and you're allowing someone to see the truth and know the truth. And you're allowing someone to see the truth, know the truth, and be the truth. You're allowing someone to be the way because you were being the way, so you showed the way. So, wow, this is freedom. Ace of Wands, I'm not playing. This is the truth. And you are, you are breaking free. You single-handedly have broken generational spells, you know, over someone that is highly spiritually ranked. This person thought that they weren't underneath a trance, but they were, they were working with the wrong side. Like, you made this person see and know the truth. This person is thanking you. You, like, the sun should rise up today. It's a thank you to you. Because you've set me free. Thank you for allowing me to see the truth. To know the truth. Just by you being who you are. That kind of a person you are. And you're so humble. Like I said something about the sheep shall be the shepherd. Or the sheep shall lead the meek. Something. This is what the true essence of a shepherd is. Like you showed someone the way. And you like they would say the meek shall inherit the earth. Like they say, the children, the, the 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 tongues of the babes, something like this, shall speak the truth. Someone has like surrendered to your presence, to your greatness, but yet still, you are. Let me tell you, you are the one with the. Let's say, let's. I want to paint you like the humble child, like you are childlike. This, I'm not. It's like like the avatar, right? But you are just so so full of, you're just like well-rounded and youthful. And then someone is recognizing with the sun card the true power in you because you maintained your way. Okay. This is like Christ energy too with the sun card. How someone has finally stopped um, fussing against you. Being malicious with you and has surrendered to your presence. And you weren't even fussing and fighting with this person. It's just, I would love to be able to find the words to tell you. That someone may see you as young and youthful. The spirit of the most high is within you. You hear me? They're seeing that you are the one, the chosen one. The, eff the, the what? The ethereal, ethereal one. And you're not even asking. You're not even speaking about it. You're just, you're just innocent and and pure, and real and rich.
and you stand for the truth so world card is next world card you're taking this to the world too big things great things spiritual activist you speak your truth you speak your you are you are yourself um spiritually mature also with the with the work with the queen of cups spiritual maturity like you don't take your problems out on people like that you know you stay grounded in yourself you pray to the father you are uh, you you don't get mixed and mingled in worldly things is the energy you take it to a higher spiritual place that is why you are a leader of this time of this generation and the moon card is next how can this be like you're in between two worlds you're, you're not even one or the other you're in between like you are the world you are the chosen you're the one that is standing up you're the one that has come with the light the truth and the way someone is recognizing that about you with the world card and the sun card they wanted to keep you hidden something about babes like i was saying earlier they wanted to keep you hidden they wanted to keep you hidden because they wanted to maintain their ideologies and whatever they created of it but you've come to show the people the truth oh my god i split this deck and the card reveal is come to clarify the moon yes and you are reincarnated or born in this time with the world card. This is a portal that you, you came through for that reason. You came shepherd like you came with your staff. You came ready. You came awakened. Your third eye is open. You're spiritually aware and alert. The gifts of your ancestors are within you. You came prepared. You came knowing. That's why you're so big on following your own heart. And when you speak the truth, you know what you know. Someone is recognizing that they were really trying to stand in your way and block you. Could be a feminine energy, could be a family member, could be because we have mother and father energy out here on the table, moon and sun. And then we have the ten of cups here. This is the fool card. This is the everything. The fool card is with the fool card with the ace of wands. How did you even come into being? That's the question. All right. How did you arrive? It is immaculate. Yo, I'm not playing. Now you're being discovered, you're being found, and it's important that you keep being the revelation and keep speaking your truth. You're so divinely guided and protected. You come with this sword. Where is the sword? But you also come to, you're probably at a point in time where you're healing these um, generational curses and like freeing yourself as you become self-aware, as you cut certain spiritual cards. This It's like you were moving through a forest and there was a lot of whist whist and you had to use your machete and you know cut your way through a clearing you had to disconnect from what wasn't real the spider webs the lies the whatever you were caught in the things of the generation this is you waking up with the world card it's like someone was in a spider's trance web and then when you wake up you have to free yourself from all that stickiness of your generation of your time of your birth right this is so you can stand in your, the presence of your truth of your aliveness this is the all-seeing vibration so you still may be in that place of knowing yourself of knowing what webs and what weaves and what um with what vines to cut away from you right what cords to disconnect from so that you can stand solely sun card and reveal what is to be revealed all right, so I pray the best for you on your journey. Much love to you. Take it easy out there. You have got this. On the bottom of the deck, we saw the hermit card. And remember, I say you're not alone here. Someone is noticing and realizing that you're speaking the truth, right? So that's why you keep doing what you're doing. Justice is yours. And someone even slandered you too. All right, um, protect yourself, you're protected, stay prayed up, stay spiritually guided and protected on this journey. All is well, all is within you, beautiful soul. Thanks for watching, much love.